the House opening up an impeachment inquiry hearing today, the House Oversight Committee, and you have people t- uh, testifying mostly to whether or not the the inquiry should begin. It's, it's actually so is there enough kind of information to even launch this inquiry before you have a full the full House to take a vote on a launching impeachment inquiry or the full House actually votes to impeach. Then you got to take the case to the Senate. We know, again, how slim the margins are in the House of Representatives. I think today, if the vote was held, uh, they would not vote to impeach. I don't think there's enough Republicans to get to the, the 218. I, I just think that it's, it's uh, you've got enough Republicans who think this is politically too dangerous or they're in tough uh, elections, which they're up for re-election every, every cycle in the House. And they would. I don't know that you'd get to that that key number to be able to move forward to the uh, move this forward to the Senate. I think that's why you're not seeing a vote in the full House uh, now. But there is a kind of question over whether or not they should even be uh, investigating. And I think that's with, with all the information we've learned about Joe Biden and Hunter Biden and these in these this kind of tangled web of money and the WhatsApp messages about the big guy. All that together, I think from the top, it's a little laughable that the Democrats are saying. There's nothing to see here. Take a listen. This is from the committee uh, hearing uh, this morning. It's ongoing right now between uh, chair, the chairman of the committee, Comer, and the ranking member, uh, Jamie Raskin. I think this they're going to be an informative much. hearing for you, Mr. Raskins, because we've we were going to present evidence. What evidence? There's no evidence. Witnesses. Well, just, no fact well, just witnesses. sit back and let, let the American people hear the see the hearing and let the American people. All decide. right. Bank records. We have wire transfers. There's new bank records actually showing. Uh, this money that came in to Hunter Biden uh, from China, uh, direct, with, uh, the the address, the wire on the wire transfer was Hunt, was Joe Biden's home in Wilmington, Delaware. I mean that, that's information there. You have the uh, SARS reports, the suspicious activity reports. Uh, you have the the former business partners who have testified and also done interviews about this. The ten percent for the big guy, the WhatsApp messages, uh, the phone calls. Uh, the, the, also, kind of admitting that they have had the the meetings, and what they would say is that the meetings it wasn't substantive. He was just kind of coming around, saying, "How was the weather?" Uh, but then you look at also the the firing of the the prosecutor in Ukraine. I mean, I go back to the fact that I, I kind of laugh at Jamie Raskin because he moved forward with that impeachment uh, the second time of Donald Trump when he was no longer president of the United States. So he's he's going before the House today saying there's no evidence, and, and yet they tried to impeach a, a someone who was formerly in office. We warned this that if you trivialize the impeachment that it will come back to bite you in some way. It will just become something that happens in politics. That if one way, you know, one person sways one way, one group sways the other, one branch sways the other, guess what's going to happen? You're going to have impeachment inquiries all the time. And do I think it's right? Uh, No, unfortunately, but I feel like we've gotten to the point where it's just going to be now part of the political game. It's no longer this last case scenario uh, to call for an impeachment. If you could use it as kind of a... Uh, I, I, it's a position, maybe you use it as a platform to talk more directly to voters. The problem is it gets very complicated quickly. They put up this flow chart this morning. Oh, it's and, very simple. It was uh, Again, you need a forensic accountant yeah. to even interpret it to the House of Representatives. So this is not like a phone call for a quid pro quo or an inter, uh, it's you not know, easy January to understand. 6th. This is, is it and convincing the American people? A con- impeachable offense for your son to take the money and did you actually get involved in we know you were involved in some, but were you involved in into a way that rises to an impeachable offense? And that's different than a, a, an offense you could even prove in court. I think that the tough part is if you want to use it for the platform to talk about the issues and to have the investigations, that's fine. I think if you, but you do want to kind of set the stage for what's actually reasonable here. Now, and also there are also Democrats, just like there were Republicans who were kind of trying to push out Donald Trump, that won't necessarily vote with this, but would be happy if this hurts Joe Biden even further. So I think that there might be some of that going on too, where even though that they're not going to vote to impeach, uh, there's a lot of Democrats who don't want to see Joe Biden as their nominee. And so they might kind of let it go. Yeah.